Yo, what's up guys? I'm Grandmaster Shimon and welcome back to Flower Paradise. And today we have another episode of our Pokemon 8-Bit Bros Edition Randomizer Shiny Lock. I hope you guys did enjoy the last episode. Um, this episode will obviously be going up a week late. So I do apologize that, um, you know, Christmas ended up being a lot more stuff and whatnot than I thought it was going to be. But hopefully we are going to be back on track. We can get all of these episodes out up until the very end of the game. So these episodes come out every other day. Um, but let's check out the team real fast in case you guys do need a refresher. So we've got Helen's our um, Volcanion with Competitive. It is Flare Blitz, Sludge Bomb, Venom Tremors, and Flamethrower. We've got Deancey uh, with Will-O-Wisp, uh, Diamond Storm, Stone uh edge hex and it has clear body as well we've got kitsune our snow warning ice beaming blizzarding confused rain sheer colding nine tails that is an ice and dark type obviously we've got our waylord um our buddy waylord with oblivious uh it's got rest coastal ride water spout and amnesia and then we've got excalibur our swords dancing steel wing king shield sacred sword stance changing Angel Slash, and we got our Cherim with Sunny Day, Magical Leaf, Solar Beam, and Leech Seed. Um, a pretty solid lineup there, uh, all things considered. So, without further ado, we're just gonna jump on into it. Make sure you guys hit that like button down below for me because you already know your support's greatly appreciated, as well as leaving a comment. If you guys want to leave a comment in the comment section down below, let me know your thoughts. It doesn't even have to be anything too crazy. You could just have a comment. You could just say that you like what you see, whatever it might be comments actually do a, a whole heck of a lot in the youtube algorithm so hopefully you guys do leave a comment as well but without further ado we are about to go and face off against team uh sub noodle and that is so loud to me okay we should be good oh yes indeed that's why we intend to move ahead with our expedition Oh, that's wonderful, Captain Stern. Well, thank you for taking the time on your busy schedule to talk to us. We hope that we can interview you again with news of more discoveries. This is my first time being filmed for YouTube. What a nerve-wracking experience. Ah, it's you again. You're looking well. Glad to see it. We made a huge discovery on our latest expedition to the seafloor. We found an underwater, underwater cavern on Route 128, and we think it may hold many secrets within. All we need is to break the seal at the cave's entrance. <coughs> testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, well, how does this thing work? Oh, I don't know. The boss said press the button, and it should just work. Well, okay, um, we're a team sub noodle, and we're taking this submarine. Come on, dude, that was weak. What do you think well, well, what do you think I should have said? I don't know, something a bit more ominous and it doesn't spoil our entire plan, maybe? Yes, boss, we'll be right over. Team Team Subnoodle, what is that? How dare you not know what Team Subnoodle is, you little piece of garbage. We all know you should know what Team Subnoodle is. Oh, wait, I remember. It's those panda guys from the Oceanic Museum. They're stealing my submarine. Uh, you there, please. Come with me. Well, I'm out. Bye. Oh. I'm like, all right. Damn, dude. Those panda thugs. I remember they were trying to steal the Cerebi papers at the museum. Hmm. You actually followed us all the way from Mount Pyre? You're too late. We finished jacking the submarine and prepared to leave. We're going to make some ma uh, minor adjustments to this bad boy and then take him right to the seafloor cavern. You know what? We're so close to achieving our goals that I don't even care about keeping them secret anymore. We're going to use the Dark Old down in the Seafloor Cavern to open a gateway between worlds and bring Darkrai back to this world. He's the reason Dream Forms exist in our world, so we're going to bring him back and use his powers to make even more Dream Forms. Cerebi will never be able to compete with us when we can create new Dream Forms whenever we want. That being said, I must take my leave. Now to finish this submarine. Alex, please take care of him, please. 
You guys, boss called us over here earlier. How long does it take to watch a few meters? Well, here. Yeah. Sorry, Alex. I guess I'll be seeing you at our base in Lily Cove City soon. Alright, mate. Let's go. Bring it the frick on, dude. You won't be stopping our boss while I'm here. Secret base trainer Grunt sent out Luminion. Alright, this thing's an electric water type. Man, I don't know. I don't know how my speed, like the speed on this, is is messing up that bad. Well, it is a water type, so we're probably gonna want to switch out here. Um, it's also an electric type. We don't really have a ground type or a grass type outside of Chelsea, so I guess we just go into Chelsea here. It's level 64, which is a little bit terrifying. Just a little bit terrifying. Minorly, minorly terrifying. Well, there's a hydro pump. I don't understand why my thing's just freaking the fuck out, but... Alright, let's uh, hit this thing with a magical leaf. That did almost no damage. Okay, this thing does have bounce. Do you think bounce will kill? Here's the issue, is that I don't think any of these will do us any good. I mean, Sacred Sword might be okay, but... And then we do have a Rock type, but a Rock type's not going to do us any good in this situation. And then we just have a bunch of Ice type moves on Kitsune. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. Risk it for the Biscuit. We're gonna Leech Seed. Okay, we eat that. We eat that. It does get the paralysis, though, but we do hit the leech seed. So we are... I think we are in a pretty good position here, actually. Alright, I believe we... Do we have a full restore? No, I'm not... I'm not completely crazy. Okay, we do have a full restore. As long as we can actually use the thing properly. Come on, game. Citra's being a bitch right now. So I do apologize for that. All right, well, we do get a little bit of health back. We are at full HP. Um, so we should be able to hit this thing with a Magical Leaf. And... Okay, it hit Bounce faster last time. It paralyzed me both times. Are you actually kidding me? All right, you know what? I'm just going to do it because I know we have another battle after this. I'm going to use a full heal. And we're going to get this par paralysis off of me. Alright, use Bounce again. Sprang up. We get a little bit more health back. Now, I really don't want to get paralyzed again. Because that's going to suck ass. So, I'm actually going to go into Waylord to finish this thing off. Because if Waylord gets paralyzed, I don't think it ultimately matters. Okay, it didn't get paralyzed. So, we take those. 100%. So, Luminion goes down. Do the Leech Seed. Waylord gains a tiny itty bitty bit of health back, and we defeated our secret base trainer Grunt. The hurdles are too high for me uh, out there on the land. This can't be. <laughs> what a pathetic man! Boss won't ha it won't see uh won't have to see you again if I stop you here and now. Okay. Man, I didn't really have much issues with this, but now the speed is all over the place, and I don't know I don't know how to fix it. So, I do greatly apologize for that. Okay, this thing's a psychic type. So, again, poison type uh, is not going to be very good against this thing. Um, so, I think I'm just going to go into Kitsune. Because the worst thing this... Like, the worst thing possible is this thing has, you know, Focus Blast or something. But we should be okay to knock this thing out. Okay, that is Nasty Plot. Does it have anything other than psychic type moves, though? That is my question. So I'm going to hit it with an Ice Beam. 
That's going to do almost half. Okay, nasty plots again. Its special attack greatly increases. We're going to hit it with another ice beam. All right, what is this thing going to do? Okay, nasty plots again. No, it's dead. That's what I figured. I, I, I'm i pretty sure it didn't have anything other than psychic type moves. So Kitsune uh, easily wins that one just by existing. And then Noctile is coming in. We just we just ice beam that. That's an easy... Oh, are you an ice type? Ice doesn't resist ice, though. Are you a flying type still? No, it's not. Okay. That's fine. I, I, I'm just... I win this ice beam in battle. Okay. Use roost. That's fair. Alright, we confuse ray this thing. Bash yourself in the face. Bash yourself in the face. Bash yourself in the face. Okay, use blizzard. Oh, ice does resist ice. Why did I think it didn't? I don't know. Probably because rock doesn't resist rock. Hit yourself. Yes. Okay, it's over. That's GG. Knock towel goes down. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. All right. Kitsune is up to 69. Nice. Helen's is up to 69. Also nice. I get demoted if I lose, though. Yep. And you did. But I'm the ninth strongest mem uh, uh, team sub subdual grunt. But but I lost. Who cares? We did our job. Uh, our job installed the boss enough time for him and Alex to escape. You're right. We need to get back to base. My sub. Ugh. What's their problem with the Serapy Corporation? Going to extend just to get more views. Do they realize they can't get more views if everyone in the world is dead? <sighs> we have to stop them. Darkrai is a rumor at best. But with how crazy they seem, I'd rather not take my chances by leaving them to finish their plans. Sorry, Game Boy Luke, but my su my stolen submarine. I could bring an un uh, it could bring an unimaginable disaster upon the world. We have to get to their hideout in Lily Cove and stop them. But I've got no chance alone. Please, may I ask for your help? I can get you as far as Lily Cove where their hideout is. Do you think you and your Pokemon could stop them and save my uh, sub from being used for pure evil? Well, thank you. We launch at once. We got this, dude. I, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it, mate. We've arrived in Lily Cove City. Those thieves so stole my submarine must be hiding out somewhere in the city. Please, find my sub for me. I'll be heading back to the shipyard at Slaveport and start dealing with the aftermath of all this. Alright, we on it, mate. Alright, let's uh let's get ourselves nice and healed up and ready. Uh, we used a lot of power points in that second battle. But Ultimately, Kitsune was the the bee's knees in that fight. But it's time to enter the team sub noodle base. All right. Well, we we have a lot of encounters that we can. Uh, we have a lot of encounters that we can get, so there might be a chance that at the end of this episode, I might get some, uh, some encounters. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I think we have to go down here anyway, so. What are you doing in our hideout? We found it first! Sub noodle leader grunt sent out Cherim. All right, sludge bomb. Yep, that'll knock out the Cherim, no problem. Deontay's up to level 68. Chelsea's up to level 67. But this is our how would I how would I bleh, 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 hide out now. I 
founds an escape rope. All right. Fuel checks. Uh, f fuel supply check. Snack supply check. All that's left is to get rid of everyone who stands in our way. Oh my god, it's actually a team sub to grunt. Send out Hail Helix. Alright, well, unfortunately, that is a water and rock type, so not really our best fighting ability. But we should be able to go into Chelsea and magical, this, magical leaf this thing into the next dimension. That is kind of the goal. Alright, ancient power. Boom. We eat that. No problem. And then we should be able to just magical leaf this thing. And that's quite effective. So, yeah, that thing is dead. That was a crit, too. Has high crit high crit ratio so that's pretty good Excalibur's up to level 70 and that'll come in Audino and Audino I believe is just normal type I don't think it gained anything so I think we go into Excalibur and we should be able to knock this thing down no problems all right get that stance change yep Sacred Sword easily knocks that thing out. And we beat the Sub Noodle Grunt. I'm sorry, my amigos. You all are awesome people. Uh, you, you're all great. Great individuals. Alright, we found ourselves a Nest Ball. Alright, well, our levels are going to be uh, a little bit on this sad side. Ugh, keeping watch over the hideout bores me, so I'll take you on. Okay. Interviewers grunt, sent out Hunt Tail. Alright, not bad, not bad. We take those. I don't think Hunt is going to be much of an issue. I mean, we are going to want to stay in, though. Uh, do we just go out into Chelsea? I think we just go out into Chelsea. Does this thing have Ice Fang, though? This thing has Ice Fang, we might have an issue. Alright, there's a Hydro Pump. We resist that, but it did enough to put us down to half, so I'm actually a bit terrified of this thing. All right, let's let's get back to full. Use crunch. That's neutral. Don't get the defense. Freaking hell, man! All right, magical leaf. And it's over half. Don't get another one, please. All right, we outspeed. So, this will knock it out. Yep, Huntail dies. Okay, so what's next? What do we got next? Steelix. All right. Do I go into Waylord here? I mean, I probably go into Waylord here. All right. Throw Waylord in. Oh my god, it's Mega. Okay. All right, water spout. We outspeed. <laughs> oh, GG. Get out of here, boy. You ain't got nothing on me, you mega freaking piece of trash. You got the splash plate. Tempted to make my Waylord hold that, but we'll see. All right, I believe because there is a trainer here, we have to go towards the trainer. What panels are the hideout's pride and joy? You're clueless about where you are, aren't you? Flutter and tire out the enemy and then lower the boom. That's our plan. Oh, your plan is terrible. L look at that. That's a Lucario. Boom, Helens comes out here. You're in trouble now, Lucario. Ready for this? Flamethrower right to the face. Oh, that's a Dragon Pulse. That is nothing. Yep. Yep. Lucario goes down. No issues. We're almost up to level 70. We take those 100%. Alright, so I assume this is probably the right way to go. Yep. It is indeed. Looks like you've fallen for our trap card. We activate Pot of Greed. This allows us to use five Pokemon at once. You'll never be able to defeat us. You're a third-rate trainer with a fourth-rate deck. I mean, team. Oh, well... What's up, Yoen? Champion Grunts sent out a horde of Pokemon. That's not actually too bad. The issue I think right now is that I can't hit all of them. I can use 
coastal ride. Oh, yo. Oh, no, I can hit all of them. I don't think cleft key will matter, though. But the rest of them, I, I might be able to knock out in, uh, almost instantly. Oh, it crit me. You piece of shit. Oh, it swaggered me, too. Oh, please don't hurt yourself. All right. Nice. All right. Focus band. But we knocked out three Pokemon at the same time. So we take those. We absolutely 100% take those. All right. Used in prison. I can't use any moves that, that are the same as the Clef Key. But that's absolutely fine. So let's... Uh, uh, let's full restore up. This should be no issue to me at all. Used assist. Used mirror shot. That's resisted. My accuracy fell, but my competitive goes off, so my special attack rose sharply again. Alright, so we're going to use flamethrower on the clef key. Used assist. Used headbutt. Ow. You got the flinch! There's mirror shot. Okay, use assist again. Use mirror shot. That's resisted. Flamethrower destroys the Klefki's stupid little face. We have, we're, we're at plus two special attack, right? So, oh yeah, we can't use we can't use flamethrower twice in a row. Not that it really matters because anything will kill you at one HP. All right, Perugly goes down to the sludge bomb. And we knock out all the Pokemon without losing anything. That is the key. That is the key. Champions grunts. Oh no, you got us. I can't believe it. We've lost. I can't believe you've done this. No, it looks like I thought we couldn't be defeated. This can't be happening. Boss is already in the sub. You're too late to stop him. Alright, um... Let me... Let me Hyper Potion up Helen's and Chelsea. So now, just as the boss expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a Revival token. Yes, dude, yes. Okay, that's good. That's fantastic news, actually. Our entire team got, got wiped out before. We might be able to revive one of them. Alright, Boss and Alex mentioned you show up at Slayport. He said you would also come at the most likely uh, most likely come here to stop him. Well, I've got some bad news for you. These modifications to the sub are already finished. Look, it looks like a Sarpedo. Even though, I don't know, really know why. But here we are. Uh, it seems whoever made this hideout had a, a plan to kind of... Uh, also planned on breaking some kind of seal. The drill with the... Uh, will be the drill that pierces not only the heavens, but the, still blo uh, but the seal blocking C4 Shaffer. <laughs> Kamina. My drill will pierce the heavens. Boss and the Alex squad are already pl uh, uh, already aboard and preparing to leave. I'm here to make sure their preparations go smoothly and uninterrupted. That includes stopping you here. This is really funny. Ever since Southern Island, there's only ever been one thing that I've wanted to do, and that's to finally beat you and take your team down. Now it's my job to make sure that you go down. Get ready. I'm going to give everything I have to finally beat you down. Ace Trainer Bunny sent out Ooksy. Is it just me or is that fitting? Is that fitting? Alright, I actually don't know what this type is. But I assume it's probably not the original typing. Because no most of these Pokemon that are legendary have different typings. So I think I'm going to Venom Trainer Tremors. Okay, a future sight me. I am stand corrected. I'm going to back out right now. Yeah, that did. Oh, it hits multiple times. Okay, that's fine. I'm backing out right now, though. We're going to go right into Kitsune. That thing future sight me. I'm glad it didn't, like, psychic. That would have sucked. You scald. Okay. So it's probably a water type? Oh, that's bad news bears for me. 
Don't burn me, don't burn me, don't burn me, don't burn me. Okay. You get buffeted by hail, you go down. Future Sight comes in and it does nothing, so... Right, Waylord goes 68, Excalibur 71, took Future Sight, it doesn't affect me. Volcanion. Okay, so a poison, a poison fire type. So we definitely need to switch out. I think we have to go in the Waylord and Water Spout. Okay. Water Spout. Yep, that immediately knocks it. Dude, Water Spout's just a powerful move. Damn, it's just so badass. All right, here we go. We got a Cherim coming out. Uh, I think we just go back into Helens here. And we Flamethrower. Or Flare Blitz, but I mean, I don't know if I want to take recoil damage right now. Not this early. If it was like the last Pokemon, maybe. Okay, Flamethrower your butt talks. It missed a takedown. And Cherim goes down 100%. Alright, we get buffeted by Hail. That's fine. Alamomola. Going to Chelsea. What can Alamomola do to me? I don't think it can do anything really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by setting up a Leech Seed. This thing has got a lot of HP. So whittling it down slowly is probably the best way to go. Okay, use Hydro Pump. That's resisted. It does almost nothing. Um, I'm actually going to set up a Sunny Day here. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me in the butt, but see how it did hydro pump and I got all my health back. This, I, I want to just wipe it out as quickly as possible. And I think sunny day is the way to do that. So we're just going to get sunny day and that'll put, get flower gifts. So we're going to be more powerful than we were before. That does almost nothing. Then we gain all of our HP back because Alamomola has like boatloads of HP. And then we solar beam their ass right in the face. Here we go. Boom. Knocks it out. One shot. I mean, plus two turns of Leech Seed, but you know, it is what it is. All right. Arbok comes in. That's a poison type, so we definitely want to get out. The problem is I don't really have anything for poison types. This thing's a rock and a ghost type. I mean, I guess I can throw some rocks at it, because why not? Um, but I think uh, actually the sun's up. So even though it's neutral, I think Flamethrower will probably annihilate this thing. I don't think that this Arbok can survive a Flamethrower in the sun. It hits a Gunk Shot. We're Poison type, so that'll do almost nothing. Then Flamethrower in the sun does knock it out in one shot. Absolutely no problems. I, in fact, I have another turn of sun. That is a Shuckle. We keep, we, we stay in. And you know what? Just for the fun of it, just for the, the shits and giggles... I'm going to Flare Blitz your face. Boom. It lived us in the sun, Flare Blitz. Oh, my God. That does no damage to me, though, because this thing has no offensive firepower. Because I'm in the sun, so, I mean, it would probably want firepower. Just throwing it out there. Would be pretty ideal, would it not? All right. Well, we have defeated Bunny. Why? Why? I don't understand it. How do I keep losing to you? <sighs> At least I did my job. Boss and Alex are on their way. I just I just want Boss to see me as an equal to Alex. When he chose which mod would be accompanying him to the C4 and Cloud. And you know what he said? Alex, even, uh, even when defeated, still finishes his mission. Show me that you could do the same before even think about joining me on another mission. You are the reason I've been on so on edge the past few days. No, you are the reason that boss uh, treats me like nothing but a discount Alex. You are the reason I feel like such a failure as a mod. Boss used to treat both Alex and I as equals. This, uh, this was right up until you started to crusade on our team. The more grunts who came back here asking boss for a new Pokemon before he uh, grew bitter and nasty. When Alex lost to you at Meteor Falls, boss grew even more restless and began comparing Alex and I to each other. Uh, every time that Alex lost to you, though, he still accomplishes what the boss tasked him with. After Southern Island, when I, I told him about you and Professor Rowan stopping me, uh, 
uh, he started treating me like a child. I was the guy who couldn't get the job done when it mattered most. One day, I swear to you, I will find you and beat your team into dust. Maybe then, boss will finally treat me as an actual mod again. I'm sorry, bunny. I'm sorry. Just know it's not it's not my fault. I, I do apologize. Alright, well, on the bright side, we do have... Now, the Master Ball doesn't work, so I'm not even going to really try. And we do have an opportunity here to um, Shiny Hunt. But that won't be... I'm going to go heal real fast before we get too crazy. Um, but I can I can Shiny Hunt... Um, what, how much? It's only been 30 minutes, though. So what, what could happen is between episodes, I might do shiny hunting uh, and showcase it at the beginning of the next episode. That's probably what's going to happen is I'll probably get through this area and we'll, we'll show some shiny hunting before the next one. Actually, we have a revival token, which means that we can revive one of the dead Pokemon that we lost in the Fortree City gym battle. So this is actually a really good benefit for us because we can probably get one of our Pokemon back. I miss Ho-Oh. But I'm not going to lie. I know that we do get We get the we get the Mega Rotom, right? I don't know if we have I mean, we're going to need Waylord. I'm I'm probably going to have time here to figure out which one I actually want to bring back. We might bring it back between episodes um, because for now, for now, we, we are, are in a pretty good position with our team, um, but it's probably going to be Rotom. I, I can probably double check. I, I think what do I need to give it the 8-bit. I, I have to get it the 8-bit orb if I remember correctly. Oh, I can't, I can't give it the 8-bit orb. Maybe not. They might, I think they give it to you later on. So, it's not, it's not too big of a deal. Alright. Let's use Coastal Ride, get on our Waylord. Uh, let's see. Do I have a repel of any sort? No. Nope. Well, we're just going to have to hope that we don't encounter anything too crazy. Unless unless it's a shiny Pokémon. I just don't want to I just don't want it to take super long. Got to love Gen 5 music. Gen 5 music was pretty dang good. They used a lot of it in here. All right, so we didn't encounter any Pokemon, so that's good. We got ourselves a Pearl, which is good for um, getting what we need here. So we actually can start heading into the next gym, which is pretty crazy. Um, I mean, I, we really don't need to heal my Pokemon, but I just healed them anyway because, you know, why not? All right, so if I remember correctly, we have to go to the Space Center, right? Isn't the Space Center first? Or do I do that after the gym? I think I do it after the gym. You give me a Sunstone, right? No. Remember back in the day when people thought that you could, uh, depending on what number it was, is when you could find Deoxys? You'd have to come at the exact right number in order to get to Deoxys. Alright, let's, uh, let's grab... Uh, I'm gonna grab 17 more full restores. I'm actually going to grab a, yeah, I'm going to grab 30 max repels and another 11 full heals. 
Okay, so we should be actually ready, uh, good and ready to go for the gym. All right, I'm going to hit that save button because only you can prevent lost save data. So make sure that you guys save often. All right, so we have to battle all of these people anyway. So timeline refugee sneaky sent out heat more and basculin. Ah, double battles. I forgot. So this is going to be interesting to say the least. Okay, so heat more is going to get absolutely obliterated here. The Basculin, I'm actually quite worried about, but it should be fine. All right, let's Stone Edge the Heat more. Because um, I already have it out front anyway, so it might as well. Use Final Gambit. Uh, okay. Whatever you want to do, Basculin. That did a lot of damage. But did not, did not ruin me, mate. I survived to tell the tale. All right, there is a Jolteon and a cast form. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna heal up my Helens, and then we are going to, I guess we just Stone Edge the Jolteon. Missed. A hit thunder. That does a pretty decent amount of damage. Hydro pump. Okay, I think I think Helen's needs to go here. Yep, we're gonna go straight into Excalibur. We'll try and hit another Stone Edge on Jolteon. We missed another Stone Edge on Jolteon. Cool beans. Might as well only hit 33% of the time. Because why not? Okay, let's Sacred Sword the cast form. And then I'm going to... This is exactly why you get full heals. I'm going to full heal up my Deancey. I'm not going to deal with Paralysis. Okay, it hits Paralysis again on my freaking Excalibur. Okay, we hit Sacred Sword. We don't get paralyzed. Cast form goes down. We take those 100%. This is going to be an hour-long episode, by the way, be because I'm trying to make up for the fact that I uh, haven't been doing as much. Uh, I'm just going to Stone Edge again, and we missed again. Awesome. That's, that's super cool. Alright, we're going to Sacred Sword and Stone Edge. You know what? We're just going to heal up our Deancey. Okay, we heal up Deancey here, back to full, use Thunder, it missed, finally it, it misses, and then we Sacred Sword this thing and it goes down. Okay, I'm gonna go back and heal real quick, because that was rough. We got an Everstone. Oh, shit. All right, let's go. Let's go heal real fast. We might actually be able to take on the gym today, but okay, maybe it won't be an hour long. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. It depends on how long each of these battles take and whatnot. Um, I'm actually going to switch out my uh, Deancey here uh, for Excalibur. I think. Well, no. Where's Let's put in Chelsea. The problem is that I don't have a lot of power points, and that that's what ultimately is gonna potentially do me in. I don't want to keep going back and healing after every battle just because I don't have any power points, but it very well could happen to be that way. Let's see what we got here, though. Okay, I used to be the I used to be the Marvel City gym leader. Hmm. Pokemon trainer Vector sent out Entei and Lunatone. Yo, look at Entei though. 
Yo, Entei looking fine. Look at that thing. All right, it's probably what a dark type, dark f electric, dark fire, and then that is a rock and a psychic. So I definitely want Helen's out of here. Um, I guess we put in Waylord, and then let's magical leaf the Lunatone. Okay, Magical Leaf does half. We take those. Okay, Future Sight on me and then Extra Sensory does a tiny bit of damage. And then Lunatone gets burned by the Flame Orb. Alright, I guess we Water Spout and Magical Leaf the Entei. Okay, Lunatone goes do down, no problem. Entei goes down below half. We take those. Kitsune is up to level 71. There's a T-Bolt. We live. Um, okay, we're going to switch out now. We're going to go back into Helen's now that the Lunatone's gone. Um, and I'm, I'm going to Magical Leaf the Entei again, I think. So it is an Electric type. That's, why, that's what the yellow is for, I guess. So maybe it's Psychic Electric? has extra sensory. All right, that double resists. T-Bolt doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. Future Sight goes in on Chelsea. Okay, that's not super good. Okay, Venom Tremors goes on both of them, and then Magical Leaf on the Entei should kill the... Okay, so the Entei goes down, so Venom Tremor is just not going to be split damage. It's just going to go straight for the... Uh... It's just going to go straight for the Leafy on. Leafy on you, sunny day. We take that with with Volcanion. Oh man, and Flower Gift helps us out too. Our Cherim stronger. <laughs> that one shots the thing. Come on, mate. You're just helping me out. Come on. All right. There's a Flareon. So that must be why it did that. It's because Flareon's coming in. So I'm gonna switch out. Uh, into Deancey. Alright, we hit a Sludge Bomb. That kills it in one shot. Alright. I was scared over nothing. Alright, Deancey goes up to level 70. We don't need Safeguard. Safeguard is ultimately useless. Um... Took a head smash to a knee. All right. I can go around. Let me see your talent. Show me your moves. Expert Prince Piplup sent out Sork and Cricketoon. All right. I'm going to flamethrower the Cricketoon, and I'm actually just going to heal up Cherim. I don't think Cricketoon will move first, but I don't think it can do 200 points of damage to me, but we'll see. Sock used close combat. Okay, that did a lot of damage. Used Parasong. Okay, that's fine. Flamethrower goes in on the Cricketoon. Cricketoon goes down. Okay, Helen moves up to 72. There is a Dialga. No, not again. I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do something crazy. I might sacrifice Chelsea here. Um, but I want this. Chelsea, wait, is Chelsea going to move first? 
speed 106. 150. Okay, Chelsea should move first. I got it. Don't kill me. Damn it. Okay, close combat. Man, they double they, they they freaking went in on Chelsea. What the hell? It's a bloody Zoroark. Okay. Fine. Why? <laughs> I didn't have to sacrifice it. Uh all right, Chelsea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had I couldn't. I couldn't take that risk, but that means there is going to be a Dialga coming in. So I'm going to go right into Excalibur and we're going to start setting up Swords Dance. I don't give a shit. I'm going to heal up Helen's back to full. Nope. I'm so glad that's the first one. I hate that in this game. Okay, so Helen's, Helen's gets healed up and then I'm going to Swords Dance. Boom. Swords Dance. Boom. Pull it up. That thing is going to be... Sock is going to be 100% really easy to kill. Alright, I need to knock out the Zoroark next turn. Okay, so... Oh, frick! Helen's, go, Helen's will die if I stay in. I totally forgot about that. Okay, let's go into Deancey here. We'll switch back in. I'm going to Swords Dance like... Oh... Should I just knock out the Zoroark? I'm going to Steel Wing the Zoroark first. Okay, with through Sock... There's Dialga. There's... With Dark Aura. Okay, it should be... I think it's Dark Steel, which means I should be able to Sacred Sword this thing into the next freaking quarter century. No way! It crit me! I'm in defense mode, and it's still... Ki oh, no. I'm dead. That was the only way I was had to kill Dialga. I don't think I, I I don't think I can kill the Alga now. I'm gonna I'm gonna I don't think I can kill the Alga now. There it is. It's D dancing. All right, we will a wisp it though. All right, I'm pretty sure that thing is a steel dark type. All right, I'm. It's on a timer. There's Sock again. I need to get everyone out of here. I, I, I guess I don't need to do this. But I'm pretty sure Dialga is a dark steel type. Which is horrible for me. So horrible for me. I don't know if I can beat this thing. I really don't. I mean, it's burned, but it set up a D-dance. So it might start outspeeding me. I'm going to Diamond Storm to raise my defense. That'll, that'll increase my defense at the very least, and then we go back into Helen's. Luckily, we are Ghost-type, so Sock can't do too much to me. It knocks me off. Okay, it's resisted on Sock. It's neutral on Dialga, so maybe it's not a Steel-type. Maybe it's a Dragon-Dark-type. Uh, in which case, I really wish that I would have stayed in. Um, Alright. It doesn't really matter now. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna flamethrower the Dialga. I know it's resisted. But I'm worried that it's still a steel type. I don't know for sure. If it's still a steel type, then there's no reason for me to get too crazy. The Dialga should go down to hail potentially. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Goes down to the burn. That's fine. Dialga goes down. We take those 100%. Okay, so now we have to kill uh now we have to kill Sock. So, I think we just stone edge into Sock and then we uh sludge bomb into Sock as well. A quick guards we're not using anything to that it would guard with that. Okay, so Sock goes down. <sighs> Excalibur died too.
Uh, that's so upset. Like, I'm so disappointed in that. I thought for sure we would live that. I think the crit 100% mattered. I'm, I'm almost positive the crit mattered. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. I think we actually have to end the episode off here because I'm probably gonna need to do some training and stuff. I mean, we're almost to an hour anyway. I can't, oh, I can't believe that. That's rough, dude. That's actually, that's actually just so unfortunate. Alright, so we lost we lost Cherim and we lost Excalibur. Alright, so I want to use a revival token on Rotom. I know Rotom will come in handy. I think I only have the one. So then it's entirely a big question mark. I don't know. Do I do Fennekin? Do I do I'm not gonna do bloody onyx i mean i guess i could do fucking snorlax it has immunity with leftovers i mean that's not terrible i kind of want to use some um i kind of want to use <sighs> i already have a ghost type ghost electric rock ghost so we have two ghost types i'm not really sure maybe i maybe i don't use rotom Maybe I go and grab my Infernape. Cause I think we get I think we get more revival tokens as it goes on here. I mean I could revive my Angel Slash right now. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna use my revival token on the Angel Slash I just lost because this thing is so powerful. I I got really unlucky with the crit. I really think that the crit mattered. Because look at that thing's defense. Look at that thing's spadef. It is 260. Look at that thing's physical defense. 243. I do not think that would kill without the crit. I really don't. It would have done a lot of damage for sure. It is a super effective attack. But I do not think that that would kill if I did not have the crit. So I think I think I keep Angel Slash. I think I think I think I keep Angel Slash. That still gives me two ghost types, but I think Angel Slash will end up being better in the long run. And I can I think I can get two more revival tokens. If I remember correctly, there's three in this game. So I think I get two more revival tokens, and I can use that on Rotom later. But I think right now Excalibur has been carrying me so well, especially the last couple of gyms, that I think I still need this thing 100 percent I just have to be a little bit more careful on ghost type or dark types, I believe, um, is probably the biggest thing. Or and ghost types, obviously. Um, but as for like what else I'm gonna add to the team, I have no idea. Like, there's a very good chance that I might just have to do some shiny hunting before next episode. Um, I'll probably have a, a, a little, nice little shiny montage at the beginning because we have a lot of encounters that we can get, like a whole bunch. I have to go and double check my last um, shiny hunting montage, which was like three episodes ago or something, um, and check. But I, I really don't know if any of these will really help me that much because, like, we don't need a grass poison type. We don't really need an electric type. I mean, I, I, I guess maybe, but we have enough fire types uh, and rock type with the antsy uh that i really i really don't think i mean maybe maybe a fighting type but we don't want three ghost types on our team so that's kind of out of the question so i think what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna have a shiny hunting montage and then i'm gonna add one of them to the team uh between episodes so thank you guys so much for watching this episode i hope you guys did enjoy make sure you guys have hit that like button down below for me and let me know in the comment section what do you, what do you guys think about this oh actually before i forget before i have people yelling at me in the comments about my revival token i am going to make sure i discard that so the revival token is gone we did use the revival token on our pokemon here so 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And the next episode should be up in two days if I am not a complete loser and uh, mess up again. Um, but thank you guys so much for, for coming out here. I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you all next time. Uh, make sure you guys head back, watch all the other episodes in the series to this point. Um, all of that good stuff. And uh, check out the links in the description um, because they have some really cool stuff in there as well. So we'll see you all next time.